Hey there. Uh, so I know it's been a while since I did a uh, good old fashioned tech off the shelf. Uh, but part of the reason for that is I spent the last week living with the Nexus 5X from LG. It is a Google approved Nexus device. That means you get standard install Android on here. Uh, it's a nice sized phone. And I, uh, I was living in Android for a week. Now I use an Android tablet, so it wasn't culture shock, uh, but I will talk a little bit about my comparison of moving from Android to iOS, less as a comparison of the two operating systems, uh, as much as what it's like to transfer your whole life from one to the other. Uh, the one thing I will unreservedly praise in the Nexus 5X is this fingerprint sensor on the back. Now at first I had to get used to the not hitting the uh, the camera and smudging it all up. But once I figured out where that was, look how fast it just unlocks so quickly. It's so nice. Uh, and it's so natural that you just, you pick up your phone, boom, you hit that, you unlock the phone. Uh, otherwise it's stock Android. So, you know, it looks nice. You get, you, you get your, uh, your Google now. Oh, it's almost time for cord killers. <laughs> so now, you know, when I recorded this and, uh, and you've got your uh, here. That's what I was trying to do. Google Now, right there. Uh, and you, you know, it's it's. It really, I'm not going to take you on a tour of the interface. You can find plenty of places that will introduce you to Android. What I will say is that it's pretty snappy. Uh, probably a tiny. I don't want to say buggier, but I ran into a few more uh, hung apps and uh, crashed apps than I did on iOS, but not significantly more. Not enough to say it was maybe not just a variation on a bad week, uh, because I get crashed apps and hung apps on iOS as well. I, I do like the fact that I have a bigger screen here than I do on the iPhone 6 now compared to the 6S or the 6S, or I'm sorry, the Plus, 6 Plus or the 6S Plus, but I was comparing it to an iPhone 6, not a 6S, uh, so the smaller version. Everything else worked great. Uh, I had some problems in low light with the camera on Snapchat. So that's default camera, Snapchat, but I'm comparing Snapchat to Snapchat, iOS to iOS. You get a few more features in the Snapchat app on iOS, which may be the difference there. Otherwise, uh, really the only big negative to this was having to move things over. So my authenticator, uh, not having uh, the uh, all of the apps work exactly the same. It took I had a hard time logging into Waze. Uh, Waze was giving me a weird thing where it would send me the confirmation text to verify me, but give me no place in the app to add it. So I don't know if that was a bug in the app or what, uh, but overall, I was able to use everything the way I would normally use it out and about, except for text messaging, and I'll tell you why. And this is entirely an ecosystem dependent thing. On iOS, I have my text messages piped into my laptop and my tablet. I'm used to getting them that way. Uh, this did not have that. So if I left this in the other room, I wouldn't get a notification telling me that I have my text message. And I bring that up not as a like, so Apple is so much better or anything like that, but just to say that, look, if you want to switch, you need to find a replacement for that. And there are replacements for that where you can have your text messages sent to your desktop from Android, even in OS 10 or Windows. Uh, so that is the one thing I would I would be aware of. It's a little less solid feeling, a little more plasticky feeling on the back, uh, but otherwise a very fine Nexus 5X. Uh, so I hope that gives you a little insight into that phone and a little bit of insight into switching operating systems. And I will be back with more looks at products. They're not really reviews. They're not, e this isn't even a first look. This, this product's been out for a while, but it's uh, hopefully at least of interest. Thanks for watching.